Aquarius, hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your new weekly tarot reading starting this new week of October the 22nd up until October the 29th. Without further ado, let's jump right into your reading. Remember, this is a general reading, so take the reading however it resonates. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also, this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant in your chart, please make sure to check those positions out as well. As you can see, the cards have a very important message for you. So, okay, that's why they're kind of flipping out. All right, let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. And you have here telepathic. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. It says here telepathic and it has here the number 56 on it. How does a number 56 resonate for you? Does it have some kind of a significance for you? For some of you, um, maybe, maybe not for others. Now, the number 56 is also five plus six, which is equal to the number 11. So if you see the number 1111 on the clock, 1111, okay, then that is an indication where something here is happening in such a way where it's leading you to where you need to be, right? It's kind of like you're being guided towards something or someone and you might be, in fact, you are going to start communicating telepathically with that person, place thing, whatever this is. It's a telepathic type of connection, communication. Again, whether this is um, some kind of messages or downloads that you're getting from the universe and or where you feel somebody's energy or you kind of telepathically have dreams or telepathically, you know, start kind of like hearing things uh, or seeing, you know, uh, different things that remind you of a particular person, an idea that you're working on, whatever this is. Let's see what this is all about. But as you can see here, it says telepathic and there's a, bl a, a brain there and it's like a light bulb moment, right? Telepathic, kind of like a light bulb uh, type of moment. You could be having a eureka moment of sorts through this telepathic commu communication or connection. We're going to see what this is all about. Since it is a general reading, take the reading however it resonates. It could be for any area of your life, love, career, family, friends, you know, money, whatever this is. Now it says here telepathic, random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin. Notice patterns. You start to notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day-to-day -day life that remind you of your person. So this could be a particular person. If this is romantic, okay, for some of you guys, it may be romantic. For others, it could be career. I'll give you different examples. If this is romantic for some of you guys, yes, you will be noticing patterns, images. You will be hearing things, seeing numbers, seeing things that remind you of that person, okay? Because you guys are communicating at a very strong, intense telepathic um in a, in a strong uh, telepathic kind of way. It's like a telepathic communication of sorts. Now, uh, for others of you, this could possibly be some kind of idea that you've been thinking about. And, you know, you may be talking yourself out of it because you are a naturally very rational, realistic type of person. And so you might have had an idea and it kind of was simmering in the back of your mind, but then you start seeing like you know, evidence of, of this idea, like, oh my gosh, you know, somebody starts talking about whatever it is that you were thinking about getting involved in, whether it's a you visiting a place, it could be for some of you guys, it could be um, a project that you want to start, in, uh, you know, investing more time in on, uh, whatever it is, right? An idea, a job that maybe you've been, it's been on your mind, some kind of a passion project that you want to pursue, whatever it is, but something here is going to start showing up in your life as a force form of telepathic messages that you have between you and a person, you want to place you and universe, right? That is sending you those messages that, hey, yeah, you guys are meant to be, you guys are meant to stay together, be together, meet. Uh, you are meant to be in this place, in this location. You are meant to visit this other area that you're meant to travel here. You are meant to get involved in this project. This idea is for you. So you're going to start seeing a lot of evidence of this. Okay. Let me know in the comments below what this is all about here for you. Remember it's for seven days. So if you don't feel the energies yet, you can look back at the reading and uh, it'll resonate more with you uh, during the middle of the week uh, and then towards the end as well. 
So I do see here a secondary message. It says here, I feel you through everything, the things I touch, the images I see, and the voices that I hear. We are connected throughout this universe, even if we are miles apart. So for some, if this is a, an actual person here, right, if this is an actual person that you have a connection with, even though you guys may not be physically together all the time, or maybe right now there could be some kind of separation um, or a sense of, you know, kind of like, you know, they're not close to you, that kind of vibe, um, then you're, you're still going to be feeling connected. You're still going to be feeling um, their energy. They're going to be feeling your energy, even if you guys are not together right now. And you're going to start feeling this person through everything, through the things that you touch, the things that you see, the images, you know, um, even voices that you hear. You could possibly be hearing something or someone that kind of sounds like that person or you hear their name, that kind of vibe. Of course, of course, if this is some kind of an other situation other than romantic or love, this could be a family member, a friend. This could be a job that you're getting involved in, like I uh, recently mentioned. Any other thing, right? If you've been wanting to visit a certain place, you might be seeing people talking about that place or it comes up on your feed or, you know, you kind of get um, to know a person that is from that location and or this could be a job or a, some kind of, um, who knows, maybe a financial endeavor that you want to start investing in on. And then all of a sudden you start seeing signs, signals, synchronicity, you start meeting people, you start hearing things that are related to that thing that you have on your mind. Okay, whatever this is for you, let me know in the comments below. Now let's go and jump right into your past, present, future position. Who and what is coming towards you? Also, what is in your opportunity? This one wanted to flip out. We'll take a preliminary message. The Nine of Pentacles. So there could be some kind of an energy where some of you guys are um, kind of thinking about some kind of monetary gain. Like, okay, how can I get more money? How can I, you know, where can I um, invest my time in on so that I can increase my financial abundance? per se, right? For others, you might be thinking in terms of, you know what, I'm enjoying my independence. I'm enjoying my singlehood. Maybe you guys want to be single. You guys like this kind of vibe right now. And for others, you might be thinking about, you know, kind of uh, taking care of yourself, self-love, self-care, maybe taking yourself out on a vacation, that kind of vibe. For others of you, it could possibly be another person, okay? Another individual here who you're kind of thinking about, is this person single? Are they, you know, still kind of, um, you know, on their own, doing their own thing or or what's going on with them. Okay, let's see. Again, past, present, future position, who and what is coming towards you, what is in your opportunity, also what is in your challenge position and how to overcome that challenge. Now, let me know in the comments below how this reading all resonates for you. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, you guys, you have no idea how much your comments really, really help support me and my channel. So I encourage you to comment down below because remember the YouTube algorithm has been playing little games here on my channel, hiding my videos. And um, uh, a lot of um, a lot of you guys have been telling me once again that you hit the like button and it doesn't hit like, you know, you guys can't figure that out. Um, for others of you, you are uh, unsubscribed from the channel automatically and you thought you were subscribed. So uh, if that's going on with you guys, once again, you can unsubscribe, resubscribe to the channel, and then hit the notification bell. Then after you hit the notification bell, you can hit all, okay? Because if you don't hit all, then um, the YouTube algorithm won't uh, notify you when I post new videos. So I hope that helps. Again, commenting down below really, really helps support me and my channel. I do hope that you're enjoying these readings. Thank you so much for your support. Now, uh, let's see. A few signs coming through, re through the reading. Some of you may be dealing with the sign of Cancer. I see also the sign of Pisces, Virgo, Leo. Could be um, Libra energy. Whatever other sign this is does not necessarily have to be any of these. But let's get some other clarification messages. At the bottom of the deck here, you have the Four of Wands. Okay, so with the Four of Wands here, this could be pertaining to a commitment of sorts. For some of you guys, 
it's a, it's some kind of a commitment, something here where maybe you are in a partnership. Okay. You have been in some kind of partnership. I see a lot of love here. I see a lot of passion, mutual passion. You know, um, it could be a marriage for others. It could be a sense of community, right? Um, some kind of a job or project that you're working on where there is a sense of celebration, that kind of vibe. But for a lot of you, it could possibly be some kind of a commitment. Okay. We're going to see what this is all about when we clarify. You can also let me know in the comments below. Now, I'm seeing here that in your challenge position, you have here the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Chariot. So part of the challenge for you this week is some kind of... Um, new beginning that is uh, kind of a little bit difficult for you to start. Okay. It may be, a, you might find it a little bit difficult for you to start something new. Okay. You may not be believing in yourself. There could be something here related to either a money endeavor, a project. Um, for others, it could be a relationship or a connection or something new here that is coming in. But you may think that you are not ready for this. Okay. You may be thinking to yourself or kind of, um, it's almost as if I'm getting the sense of you are trying to convince yourself like rationally that this is not for you. You're kind of like being very realistic about whatever this is, relationship, career, finances, friends, a project, you know, whatever this is. And it's almost as if you're like doubting yourself that you are not good enough for this or you're not ready for this. And for others, you think that something here isn't for you or rather that you're not cut out for it. And so I do see here that instead of you planting that seed of potential, giving it a go, making the offer, you know, starting the first step, to, uh, first steps towards whatever this new thing is, okay, or new thing could potentially become, I see here that you're kind of like hesitating. You're not really, you know, um, giving it a go, okay? Uh, I am sensing that for others, it could possibly be the fact that you are waiting on a message before you say to yourself, okay, you know what? <sighs> yeah, um, now that I've received the answer, the message, okay, then I'll give it a go, right? Even if it's just like the first step forward. So I see here that you're either not receiving the message, you're not really getting the information that you're waiting on or that you're expecting. And that might be um, part of the reason why this is kind of keeping you at bay, right? You're kind of like, okay, let me just stand on the sidelines for a little bit, okay? For others of you, you feel like you still have to, you know, um, work hard and you have to study and you have to do this and do that and you know all these things before you invest and I'll give you an example sometimes people they can take tutorials on YouTube online. They go ahead and they take classes. Let's say, for example, you want to, who knows, uh, maybe become a pianist, right? Or, you know, play the guitar. And so um, you do have an opportunity to go play because somebody has kind of seen you play a little bit and they're like, oh yeah, you're pretty good. You know, why don't you come over and um, uh, play at this event? And you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I really want to, but I don't feel ready, right? Again, this could be anything. This is just an example. This could be a relationship. This could be a career. This could be a project here. And so you're like, no, 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 I have to first study. I have to take more tutorials. I have to take more classes. And so you take more tutorials, classes, et cetera, et cetera. And then six months go by and you still doubt yourself. You still feel like you're not good enough. What this thing is, you have to, at some point, you've got to take a risk, okay? You've got to just go to the event. Just say, okay, you know what? I I was called, you know, towards this event, to this event uh, for a reason. And um, I've, I, I feel like, okay, maybe I'm not fully prepared, but at least I know something about it, okay? And so this is all about taking a risk, but it may be a little bit difficult for you to do that because you still think to yourself that you still have to prepare yourself. For others, it could just be the fact that maybe it's a relationship and you're like, okay, you know what? I cannot... Um, possibly commit to a person, to a relationship, or offer commitment, or accept some kind of commitment, because I don't feel financially ready, financially stable. For others, maybe you don't feel like you are emotionally stable, right? And so this is saying, just give it a go, okay? Give it a go, because this telepathic communication, these messages that you are getting from the universe, or from a person, okay, this is something here that should be it should kind of like, you know, um, make you realize that you are ready. These messages are being sent your way in order for you to 
finally, you know, jump into whatever this is. But I feel like you keep ignoring them. You're like, no, no, no. You know, because you're so realistic, so rational. You're like, oh, no, that's just nothing, right? Oh, that's nothing. You hear about that person and you're like, oh, yeah, that's nothing. You know, you kind of um, try to rationalize why you hear about them. Or if you see repetitive numbers, right, you're like, oh, no, that's nothing. I'm just going crazy. So you're not going crazy, right? You are receiving some kind of telepathic communication, but it's up to you to you know, jump in, uh, the first move, that kind of thing. For others of you, you may find it difficult, um, to send out the first message because somebody here is not, um, taking the first step towards you or toward the situation in the way that you want. Okay. I feel that like you have this kind of, um, idea. Okay. Or this idea, it's like an ideal type of way that this situation should be playing out and it's not happening in the way that you are expecting it to play out. It's playing out, but it's playing out in a different way. Okay. And I feel that for others of you, that's what's holding you back because, you know, the chariot here represents someone here who is ultimately very confident in themselves and they go for whatever it is that they want to pursue in life, whether it's love, career, a relationship, you know, job, money, whatever this is, but the confidence is there. However, for you, I feel that you're letting your emotions guide the way. You're letting something other than your belief in yourself convince you, okay, that you are not ready to pursue whatever this is. This could be uh, also related to some of you guys may find it difficult to confront a person or confront a situation or bring up some kind of a topic because you may not want to rock the boat. Okay, that kind of vibe. So there's a lack of confidence here. Now, I'm also seeing here psychic. Again, I mean, I literally cannot make this stuff up. You have telepathic, which is part of psychic energy, and then you literally have psychic. It says you're psychic. Your intuition scares me. How much do you really know about me? So this could be related to you towards somebody or somebody here towards you. If you're the one who is feeling very psychic, okay, then you might be kind of like picking up on things about that person, about the situation, but then you kind of talk yourself out of it. For others of you, that person may be um, very in tune and intuitive uh, about you. And you might be kind of like getting a little bit scared, like, oh my God, how does that person know so much about me? Like, you know, like it's just kind of like, oh wow, maybe I shouldn't invest in this. Maybe I, 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 I shouldn't take a leap of faith. Right. And so something here is kind of pulling you back. And I feel that it's the fact that this is actually meant to be, it's meant for you, but because it's so real, because it's so, strong it's so intense okay you've got you've got double psychic energies here telepathically it's like everything is drawing you towards it there's a, there's a little bit of a sense of resistance because of that right because you might be feeling like you know what you're either convincing yourself that you're not ready for it and this could be part of self sabotage right sometimes people self sabotage whenever uh things start flowing in your direction and you're so used to things not flowing in your direction because you're so used to fixing things finding the problem being correct that that was a problem and so if something here is telling you hey, you know what? Everything is flowing in the right direction, but you're still used to fighting the problem and being correct about that problem, you know, that you found. You're not getting the validation this time. It's like this time you're, that problem that you're trying to find in this situation, the universe is invalidating it. The universe is like, nope, this time you're wrong. You, this time everything is actually picture perfect. It's, it's actually flowing, okay? And it's like subconsciously, somebody here is just trying to find the issue with it, okay? Or the problem or, you know, not feeling good enough or whatever it is. It's, it's almost as if somebody here has a very black and white way of thinking and the universe is trying to have you look at the bigger picture and introduce more color to you. And you're like, no, 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 no. It's either this or that. It cannot possibly be anything in between. It's either yes or no. It's either black or white. And the universe is like, no, but you know, there's more color to life. There's more color to the situation, right? So there's some kind of an energy there of you resisting something, but the universe trying to pull you towards it. Okay. Let, let me know in the comments below what this all pertains to, which era of your life and what this is all about. And as I was saying black and white, you literally have that here, which we will get into in just a little bit. 
Now, you have here in the recent past, the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hermit. So, yeah, in the recent past here, I do see that there was a lot of happiness. There was a lot of joy. There was a something here uh, that was very stable, okay? Very stable, very consistent. There was loyalty. There was, um, you know, um, money there. Uh, there was a sense of stability. There was a sense of joy. There was a sense of kind of like, you know, you felt like you could be yourself around this person, this person around you. If this was a job or any other kind of situation, it could be career, family, friends, whatever this was in the recent past. Again, similar energies. You you, you were dealing with a situation that was very consistent, very loyal. You know, um, it was very uh, stable in such a way. It brought happiness, joy, fulfillment, that kind of, that kind of vibe. But at some point... Somebody decided to go into isolation, okay? Somebody here decided, you know what? I feel like this is too stable for me. This is too much happiness for me, right? Is this real? Is this, is this really going in the right direction? This could have been a person here who is used to self-sabotaging and or for others of you. There was a sense here of, okay, wait a minute. Yes, I feel happy around this person, around this energy. Yes, there is stability, but why do I feel like there's something missing, right? For some of you guys, there was just that little thing that was missing and you were like, okay, you know what? I've got to take a step back. I've got to go into isolation, introspection. I want to be by myself on my own, right? To find that missing piece. Somebody here took a step back in isolation in order to find that missing piece peace because yes even though on the surface everything looked fine everything you know um was very stable consistent there was still something in there that was um that was lacking okay for some of you guys uh it had to do with secrets okay somebody here was was very quiet at times they were holding on to secrets whether this was you or somebody else around you and it says here in the recent past I'm a complicated person with many hidden secrets. I keep us a secret for a reason. Whether you were keeping something or someone a secret, okay, because there were still things that you wanted to understand or, you know, the fact that maybe you feel like you kind of had a complicated situation going on, or it could be somebody around you who was a very complicated person. And so with many hidden secrets, this person was, and um, they were keeping you guys a secret in silence for a reason. Okay, and that may have been the reason why somebody here ended up t taking a step back because you were like, wait a minute, I feel like everything's good, but why is this person still keeping secrets? Or why do I still feel like, you know, I can't uh, fully be myself? Why can't I fully like open up to this person? Or why can't this person fully open up to me? Or why can't this opportunity um, fully make me feel fulfilled, right? Again, could be career, family, friends, whatever this was in the recent past. You let me know in the comments below. Now, in your present energies, you have the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, um, and the Ace of Cups. A lot of Cups energy. Cups, 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 Cups. Okay, so when I see a lot of Cups energy, especially in you know certain positions here, uh, this is a lot of love, okay? This has to do with a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, love, that kind of um, vibe, but there's also here an indication where right now you may still be feeling a little bit disappointed or may have recently been disappointed. There has been some kind of emotional disappointment. And I see that you are trying to walk away. Okay. You have either already walked away. Okay. From the situation and you're trying to detach now emotionally from it. It's like, okay, physically you, you're no longer there. You've walked away. You left something behind. But emotionally speaking, there's still something that is attached to that person, place, thing, idea, whatever this is happening for you. I see here that there's still a lot of love in your heart, okay? I see here that you are still open, okay? I feel that you have grown a lot. I feel that you have matured a lot. Um, but I'm also sensing here that there is a brand new beginning in love as well. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups has to do with you walking away from something that has disappointed you, but you still kind of, you know, feel like the aliveness of the connection or the love. For others of you, you're walking away from a connection and you're kind of like wanting to jump into something new with somebody new, um, some kind of a brand new type of, you know, falling in love or, you know, opening up your heart. But for most of you, I still feel that there is a little bit of nostalgia. I still feel like there's that energy where you still feel in love with that person, in love with that location, with that 
you know, job, whatever this is for you. Okay. There's still that sense of, you know, brand new love. This could also be, um, some kind of an offer coming towards you, whether it's a brand new love offer for some of you guys, for others of you, it could be the universe coming in to offer you more so of a situation that will inspire you, that will inspire you into becoming more creative in some kind of way, shape or form. Okay. Let me know in the comments below, but I also see here black and white. I've always tried to be realistic with life, but you opened me up to color. So if this is you, I feel that you have always been realistic with life. Like I recently mentioned, you're very black and white. It's either this or that it's either black or white. There's no in between, but there's something here that is opening you up. Okay, to emotion, to color, because you may have not been believing in love. You may not be believing in yourself. You may not be believing that something here that you want to pursue, that you want to achieve is possible because you have a very mm, specific way that things should, uh, of, of how things should be, right? It's like you have this, this perceived notion of, okay, well, if, if I'm going to be falling in love, then it's got to go this way and this way and this way. And if it's not this way and this way and this way, then it's not real love. If uh, I'm meant to be abundant in life, then that means that if this is a, a good opportunity for me to become abundant, then it's got to go this way and this way and this way. And if it's not going this way and this way and this way, then that means that this is not real, that this uh, opportunity for money is not real, right? So there's something here where the universe and people around you could be one particular person is kind of um, opening you up to color, right? They're opening you up to, hey, it's not always this way and this way. It, it doesn't have to be the way that you envision it to be. Things can happen. In fact, things usually always happen um, in a different way, right? The universe has a better plan for you. And so this is telling you open up to more, open up to color, open up to new ideas, open up to new ways that this can actually happen. It doesn't have to be this, this, and that, right? It's kind of like, you know, a person here who, um, um, who knows, maybe they, they, they grew up thinking that in order for them to be married, first they have to um, go to college and then they, you know, um, after college, they have to work a few years in their career. And then after they work a few years in their career, they cannot possibly fall in love until after that. And so it's like you're being too lim It's like you're limiting your life right now. Somebody here is being very like, you know, you're limiting yourself. And you need to kind of like open up more, okay, um, to see the magic in this, to see the miracles in this. Now, in the um, near future, you and let me know in the comments below what that's all pertaining to, what that is all about, which area of your life. Now, in the near future, you have the justice, the king of wands, and the ten of pentacles. So, in the near future, I do see here that justice will be served. There was, There is going to be some kind of justice, some kind of balance in an area of your life where you may be feeling like there has been some kind of injustice, some kind of unfairness. Don't worry because karma will be taking care of it. Everything will be resolved. And I feel like in such a beautiful way because I do see here that there will be balance. There will be an equal give and take. There will be some kind of reciprocity. I feel like your confidence level will definitely... Um, go up. Okay. Uh, if you haven't been feeling confident right now, I feel that this, um, reciprocity is going to help you. It's going to help you feel better about yourself, about the situation. I'm also seeing here that there's a potential here for marriage, a potential for abundance, a potential for money, a potential for a lot of generational wealth or building upon something that has already been set in stone, right? So something here that has already been set in stone. Yes, it's going to take time to build, but I see here that the results are beautiful. Okay. There's something here where um, it's kind of telling you like, don't get involved into a power struggle in the near future because then you can ruin a very lovely relationship, a very lovely job, a very lovely opportunity. Look at the bigger picture. Okay. Instead of looking at all of the little details that are not important, look at what it, what is important. And um, the fact that what you guys are arguing about or what you and that person are disagreeing on is not as important as this, right? Because I do see here that with the Ten of Pentacles, this can be a potential for long-term potential marriage, potential job, potential, you know, career endeavor, potential 
you know, generational wealth that you can build, uh, whatever that is for you. And if there's some kind of a connection, it says you're a perfect pair. We are perfect for each other. You match my vibe and I love your energy. I feel like you guys, um, uh, you know, it's an undeniable connection. You and this person are a perfect pair. You guys perfectly vibe uh, with one another. And so, um, this person matches your vibe and you love their energy. They love yours. So I feel like there's going to be some kind of a, you know, pairing coming together, you know, you, uh, meeting somebody who was, picture perfect for you or somebody here who you already know. Now let's go ahead and look at your opportunity. So in your opportunity, you have here the eight of swords, the high priestess and the hanged man. Okay. So what these energies are saying is that, yeah, there's some kind of vibe here where, you know, you're going to finally have an opportunity to release fears, release insecurities, release that victimhood mentality that has been keeping you back, has been holding you back from jumping into new opportunities. You may have had a, um, a victimhood mentality where, woe is me, well, I can't do this because of that, always complaining, right? Um, feeling stuck, like, oh my God, no, I'm stuck in the situation. I can't move out of this. I, I can't do this unless I do that. I can't do that unless this happens, right? All of these complaints, all of these things that you may have been thinking, you know, were working against you. I feel like you're finally going to release that. You're finally going to release that type of um, mentality, that way of thinking. And instead, you're going to create room and opportunity in, uh, in your life. Now, I'm also seeing here that with the high priestess, you're going to already like I feel like you're already because you have a lot of psychic energy telepathic energies now you have the high priestess I feel that you're going to definitely have an opportunity to reconnect with your intuition if you've been extremely rational right extremely overthinking over analytical about a situation you're finally going to start kind of like tuning into okay what is it that I feel from this person or the situation right? You're going to start kind of tuning in more. So I see here that your intuition is going to start um, amplifying. For others of you, you're going to have an opportunity to know some kind of a secret or secrets here that have been held from you, or perhaps some kind of secrets here that, you know, you've been trying to um, investigate. Now, with the hangman also, I do see that you're going to have an opportunity to receive some kind of enlightenment. This is the same light bulb moment, right? Light bulb moment, eureka moment. You're finally going to understand something that you have not understood until now. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's been, it's been kind of, um, bothering you the fact that you want to understand it. You're trying to understand it. And finally, once you take a step back, you're going to see that, oh, wow, that's why this happened because this was, this other thing was supposed to happen, right? So you're going to have some kind of an enlightenment moment because there's going to be a sense of, um, like this is, this is also, um, you kind of like, um, releasing something that was holding you back, whether it's fear, doubt, insecurities, that kind of vibe. And once you release it, you're going to get the answer. Okay. Now also here, transformation, it says here, I am making conscious choices to transform into my higher self to be with you. So you're going to have an opportunity to not only change, okay, transform yourself. If you see butterflies or a butterfly around you, then that is an indication of changes coming. Okay. For a lot of you, this has to do with uh, a change in direction, a cha change is happening in a relationship. Ha um, for others, it's personal changes, right? But this is uh, you making finally conscious choices, when you make conscious choices, that means that your fears, your doubts, and insecurities no longer make the choices for you. A lot of times people who are unaware, okay, and are not fully conscious of their decisions, they allow fear, their fears, their doubts, their overthinking, their insecurities, their anxiety, their paranoia, make those decisions for them right? And so now you're going to become a lot more aware, a lot more in tune with yourself, with the situation, with the person, and you're going to be coming, you're going to be um, becoming a lot more conscious and making uh, those conscious choices in order to transform into the higher version of you in order to be with that person, in order to be um, where you want to be in life, in order to, you know, um, jump into these new opportunities instead of letting fear, doubt, and security hold you back. For others, it could be a person here uh, towards you. Somebody here finally making their conscious choices in order to transform into their higher self in order to be with you. Transformation. For a lot, I feel like it's you, uh, okay, because you've got a lot of like telepathic messages here, opening up intuition, but we're going to be jumping deeper into this reading in the extended 
And in the extended is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how this entire situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can find it down in the description box below and also in the first comment that I've pinned down below as well. And if you are enjoying these readings, and if you do want to continue to support the channel, you can do so by commenting down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, you guys, it really helps support me and my channel because as you guys have known, the YouTube algorithm has been hiding my videos and unsubscribing my subscribers. So again, to keep this channel going, make sure to comment down below, even with a cute little emoji. I really love reading all of your comments as well. Give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification notification bell, all that good stuff helps as well. If you are not getting my notifications, you can unsubscribe, then resubscribe, and then hit the little notification bell. After that, you can hit all, and that will be a way for you guys to now get the announcement. Hopefully that works for you. And if you want to watch all of your weekly readings from last week, this week, all of your monthly readings, your love readings, your blessings readings for this entire month, remember to always check the first comment that I pinned down below. I'm linking all those readings for you guys down there. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with some psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop. And follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.